guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back at one of my favorite parking lots because you know what? We have a company that's making one heck of a splash in the auto industry. This is a 2021 Genesis G80. Totally redesigned sedan, but before we get into this luxury cruiser from this brand, let's talk about what's going on here, Genesis. They've been around since 2015, and what's really fascinating is that this is a brand that's actually been created based off of a model of a vehicle. So Hyundai, the parent company of Genesis, had a model by the name Genesis. That's what it was called. It was called the Genesis sedan. Got so much great attention, people fell in love with it that Hyundai decided to create a premium brand, and that's where Genesis comes into play. Now this G80 is the original. This is the OG of the Genesis lineup because this is the Genesis sedan that was once part of the Hyundai lineup. Now things are changing for 2021, totally different platform, totally different revisions. Wait until you see the technology. But what I want to find out is this premium brand from Hyundai, are they ready? Are they able? Are they willing to take on the BMW 5 Series? and also, of, of course, that Mercedes-Benz E-Class. But let's go ahead, let's find out if they could stand up to that competition, maybe even defeat the competition, but let's also find out, is it worth it what a Genesis G80 costs nowadays for your luxury sedan needs? Let's go ahead and dive into this 2021 G80 sedan. Right off the bat, I love the color. It's called Tasman Blue, really has a nice tone. Even when it's overcast, when the sun comes out, it gets a little bit brighter, but has a nice balance to it. When we start at the front of the business, really like the direction that Genesis has gone in. We're creating such a brand identifier. Companies spend millions upon millions of dollars when it comes to badging and making their badging be a brand identifier. I think Genesis is going really smart because it's not only their badge, but also the whole look. You're gonna get this split level setup. It looks like a Bentley product but really has a nice extra flavor with those LED, LED daytime running lamps, which are also our turn singles, or in this case, hazards. You're gonna have multi-beam LED headlights, both top and bottom, but I love the way they did the split housing. It really creates a unique, luxurious look, like I said, that normally you would find on a brand, say Bentley, but definitely bringing it fresh with its own little touch on this Genesis G80. Now, as we drop down, we do have functionality. You have functional air curtains and a little bit of chrome, just a little bit sprinkling of chrome down below. I kind of like it, it gives it a nice style. And you'll notice that we have a concave finish to that lower corner area, which is also functional. They extend the front fascia out, give it a nice over sporty look, even though this is not meant to be a sports uh, sedan by any means, but definitely has a nice look. Now, as we come across the center section, this is where Genesis does all of its talking. The big, huge mouth, I mean, grill that we have on this G80 really falls in alignment with the new GV80 SUV. We have the upcoming G70 and GV70s all having this massive, large grill. It works. When I saw it in pictures, I was like, where is the front of the vehicle? Like the actual body work? but this grill works on this Genesis G80, just like on the SUV sibling, the GV80. You're gonna have your forward-facing camera. They did a halfway decent job of hiding all of that uh, safety technology that they need behind the plastic cover here, but the crisscross lace design, nice curve to it as it comes to a point. That's what I really like is all the attention gets focused to this point of a, of a focal area, which really gives it a nice overall feel. You're gonna have a little bit of chrome along the bottom section of that front extender on the, the fascia here. But other than that, definitely low and wide and 90% grill. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you'll see the great fit and finish, the way the hood kind of just folds down gently up against the grill. Very, very classy badge. It's got a little bit of everything in there. Got a little bit of Bentley, a little bit of Aston Martin, but this is that Genesis brand. And look at how they attention, they pay attention to detail. Off the tips of the wings, that's where you're gonna get your indentation that goes all the way towards the windshield. And then as we come around the bend, you're gonna notice on the hood, you have a nice step. There's actually a step down to the fender. This is fender, this is hood, very, very classy. Coming around the bend on our particular prestige trim, check out these beautiful 20-inch wheels. 
Simple on the design, nice five spoke, but what they did was they put all these little intricate details. And if you notice, it looks almost like the grill, that little grill design with some other touches in there. 20 inch wheel, 245 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and it really does balance nicely with the Tasman Blue. You'll notice you have a nice large uh, rotor there, fully ventilated. And look at the size of the calipers. You're getting six piston calipers. I like the way they went with this nice flat silver color and the Genesis name badge on the side. Classy, sporty, and you also have adaptive dampers all four corners. Now, one of my favorite touches besides the headlights are gonna be the side marker lights. Nobody in the business, especially when it comes to luxury cars, is doing it like this, and I'm really liking it. You're gonna have your LEDs flashing nicely with the hazards, even the way they took the design. Look at that. Doesn't have to look like a fake vent. Doesn't have to look like anything. It looks tasteful. It looks like it's thought out to flow nicely with those side marker lights. Coming down the rest of the vehicle, you're of course gonna get color matched on the mirror caps. We have 360 cameras. A little bit of bright, shiny metal work, top and bottom. Flows nicely with the chrome on the door handle and also that thin chrome strip that kind of widens as you get towards the rear tire setup. I do like the nice profile. It's got a little bit of rounded, but it also has a nice hard belt line edge that comes into the fender. Up top, they listen to Rady's Rides. Thank you. Thank you, Genesis. All blacked out. So you're going to have this massive glass roof all blacked out. Even the shark fin antenna they blacked out. You see how nice and cohesive and clean that looks? All the brands need to do that. Working our way towards the back, you get a great size on the quarter window, the way they kind of flare out that trim. And then at the tail end, look at how I'm going to have Lori kind of swing around and show you almost that flared fender look as that high belt line forms into the fender line and then everything flows nicely into our tail lights. And mimicking what we have with our headlights, the tail lights have that nice split level design. There's a bit of a concave design flow that actually comes off the rear. The way they took some of that chrome trim, I'm not a big chrome guy, but they put it in the right touches. And then check this out. The actual button and your backup camera is in the shape of the grill. See the touches? They thought about that. They didn't just slap it all together. Clean on the Genesis badge, GV80. We got the 3.5T, and we're not talking about one turbo. We're talking about dose turbos working our way down. Even the way they did the DOT required uh, reflectors, it's tasteful. You put some style into it. You do have the nice stainless uh, aluminum trim here. It is got that nice brushed aluminum feel to it, and it is in the shape of the grill just like up front. You can see the little tip at the bottom. And then as we come across the back, the only thing I'm really gonna zonk is this fake vent back here. Could have just made that functional or just left it smooth, but the way that they blended in your uh, reverse lights, a little bit of an extension off that lower area. And of course, you're gonna have functional exhaust on both sides. But why don't we go pop the hood and check out that 3.5 liter twin turbo engine. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. And they did a nice job of balancing plastic underneath the hood, but still allowing you to be able to locate where the engine is. Some of these luxury sedans, it's like, where's Waldo when it comes to your engine? But tasteful engine cover. You do have a turbo badge. Maybe that feels a little weird being on a luxury sedan, but you know what? Underneath that cover, we do have turbocharged power. We have twin turbocharged power. So you're looking at a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 pumping out 375 horsepower, 391 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. We are sitting on a real rear-wheel drive platform, so that's gonna fall in alignment with the competition. Zero to 60 in about five seconds flat. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 13 and a half seconds. The G80 weighs 4,200 pounds. MPGs around 19 in the city, 27 on the highway. And the great news is, is that this engine has been tried and true tested with other models and also on previous years. So that's something that's nice that they kind of brought over. It would have been a little extra nice if they would have added some extra horsepower. I think this setup, 400, 425 horsepower, that would have been the sweet spot. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to that interior and see what big things are in store on the G80. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 
Genesis G80 sedan. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at these vehicles from Genesis for a couple years. I'm not so sure if I'm ready to get rid of my BMW, but I know some friends that have, and I'm getting more and more curious with them. How much is this one? So this one being a prestige twin turbo V6, you're looking at MSRP of $66,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Very, very stylish Art Deco design. So you're gonna get this milk chocolate brown uh, color, all soft touch with that open pour wood, really nicely done with a little bit of silver there. Even on the speaker grill covers, we have some aluminum trim, the tweeter cover and the center speaker cover. The thing that's a little different for me is the blue. I'm gonna zonk it. I don't really dig the milk chocolate and the blue, but it is very, very stylish the way all those beautiful lines kind of come together on the armrest. This has the optional 21 speaker lexicon sound uh, system. So that center speaker grill cover, nice aluminum finish with all the openings there. You are gonna get a supersized door pocket for a nice 12 inch Subway meatball sub with extra parm. The only thing I, I would like to find out is how come they didn't put a nice speaker grill cover on the bottom speaker there in the door panel. I guess it's because that in case somebody kicks it, but it would have been nice to have all aluminum finishes from top to bottom. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, you're gonna get a little bit more blue than brown. Blue in the center, that leather material with the stitch work. There's some brown up closer by the base of the windshield, but more of that open pour wood. And this is real wood. You can rub your wood after a hard day. And you know what? Looks classy, nice touch. Even the way they did the AC vents, they're sunken in, almost looks like just one cohesive design, silver trim all the way to that 14 and a half inches. So I hope you can handle it. 14 and a half inches of infotainment screen display. Even if it may seem a little daunting of a task to handle all that, it really is very easy. So if I go ahead and hit the media button, that brings us to the Lively Forest. This has all the wonderful sounds of nature that Genesis brings into their products, that rainy day, the open air cafe. Great to play these different things while you're driving to or from work, or maybe the kids are just annoying you and you tell them to shut up and you wanna to listen to a snowy village, let's say for example. So I'll bring the snowy village up here. Ah, there we are, snowy village. Sounds like a Snoopy snow cone machine to me, but nice to have that feature. I'm gonna lower it back down so I can continue through the journey of this infotainment. You're gonna get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the Sirius XM, nice swipe features. I mean, look at the quality. You could go into your seat functions, all that adjustability all on the screen here, even your AC controls. So we swipe back, you have valet mode, go into your climate mode, adjust everything right off the screen. And then of course you also have your map for your display, and then on the side, you also have more functionality, but very, very easy to use. There's your 14 and a half inches of navigation. Go right back to home. And there we are. Let me show you the backup camera. Real nice and clear out the back. Weight your trajectory, your 360. I could also look at it. There's our G80. Very, very cool to have that feature. So in case you're at a mall and it's late at night and you're about to get out of the vehicle, you could do a nice 360 search. I'm going to put it back in the park. And then there we are, right back again. Going into drive, I could hit the forward-facing camera. So that's our forward-facing camera and the 360 pops up. And we could go right back to that. Real easy to use. And that's one of my favorite things about this vehicle is just how easy everything is to use. Tasteful on the start-stop button. Look the way they brought the wood up to put your hazards button. Nicely placed, silver. And I think the other thing I think is so smart is that they have physical buttons and the touchscreen. So you could do everything that I did all through the buttons here. You're gonna have dual climate control, nice TFT digital display, easy to use. We have ventilated seats and heated seats, heated steering wheel, which is great, but you get that dual climate set up, drop your way down and look at this. We have more open pour wood. This wood is so fresh, I feel like I could get a splinter on it just by touching it. Open it up, you have your wireless charging, two USBs, and then look, the great news is, you just close it right up. Nice finger uh, barrel control for your tuning, for your volume. You got all your buttons, and then you have probably one of the most decorative ever in the auto industry, one of those direct drive control knobs. So decorative. I mean, look at the click sound, the feel. That's gonna control everything on the infotainment. 
This dial here that looks like it's made out of this high level crystal, almost like the dark crystal, this is going to control that eight speed automatic. And no, you cannot automatically just accidentally hit one of these things while you're driving and then it switches into reverse or something. The computer will stop that from happening. Go back in a park, more open wood, open that. You got your two cup holders, a little bit of silver trim, close that back down. You got your different drive modes, which I'll show you on the business end. Here's your Genesis key fob, classy. It's got a nice weight to it. Flip it around, you got all your silver buttons, remote start. This has the smart park feature where you can move your vehicle forward or backward in or out of a spot. And then you're gonna get more of that blue leather, bombs away, what do we got? We got a nice tray for some rubies and some emeralds so you don't scratch them up. And then you're probably gonna be able to fit at least 14 Twinkies in here without getting cream anywhere. And you're not gonna scratch your Twinkie because there's nice felt lining and you have a 12 volt in there. So you could get a little heater and warm your Twinkies up. And then the seats, they're blue, but I like the quality of the leather. The piping is classy. The design is my favorite. Look at how everything just flows to the center. Full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. I even have that chauffeur feature. Look at that, I can move the seat from right here. So say your passenger right back there is like, ah, eh, it's a little tight. You can just move it up for him. And then since this is the prestige, let me move the seat back so we could show off this beautiful headliner. That microfiber Alcantara style, nice soft touch. And then what do we got? We got that sunroof. Look at the way that opens up. Nice massive piece of glass, easy to use. Bring in the sun's rays, get some vitamin D, or close it on up. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom in here. Why don't you come over here? I wanna show you behind the business end of our Genesis G80. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of the G80. You do have an aluminum sill plate panel here that has the Genesis name. I am gonna zonk it though. It doesn't light up, and guess what? The competition has a little bit nicer way of welcome you in and out of their sedan. So. I would like to see a little bit upgrade on that. What you are gonna get that's a nice upgrade is we have actually massage seats for the driver. There's all your seat controls. You can move it every which way from Sunday. And then one of the things that's a little bit of a bummer is the steering wheel. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I, I'm starting to think it looks more and more like my mom's 1988 Buick estate wagon wheel. It just has that large center horn button and it's that two-tone color which for some reason, brown and blue just is not my thing, but you do have the nice Genesis logo, some silver trim all the way around, little flat black on the buttons, paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight-speed automatic. I even like the finishes that they do on the ends of the stocks for the turn singles and also for the uh, windshield wipers. You do have an electric assist on the tilting and telescoping wheel, and then you're gonna get your 12.3 inches of digital gauge display, nice quality, lots of information. Look at that, look at the style. It's showing me the door is open. Watch this. Of course, you're gonna get, everybody loves the turn single cameras in these Genesis vehicles. Really nice quality, easy to use. And then on top of that, you have your different drive modes. So we could go to Eco. That looks like some type of robot set up there. We could go to Custom, get everything perfect just for you. And then you could go Comfort, and right back to sport. You know how we're doing it. We got the racetrack set up there. We're going sport on radies rides and you get a head up display. So they got you covered technology wise, but why don't we get to the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this G80. All right guys, back seat time. And I'm telling you, if you get one of these G80s, your friends and family are gonna buy you some special gifts for your birthday and other holidays because you're gonna treat them like royalty. There's so much room back here when you compare it to the competition. As you can see, I still got plenty of headroom. Backs of the seats, nice smooth finish. You got decent size on the pockets. Maybe put just one or two pancakes back there from IHOP, that's about it, because you, you don't want to squirt syrup all over the back of this beautiful interior. We do have nicely done AC vents at the back end of the center console with your AC control. Here's that chauffeur setting. I could adjust the seat very, very easily. That'd be fun to like if you had a older sibling to kind of squeeze play them, just run them right into the dash as it like goes right into their, their diaphragm of their torso. But anyways, with that seat all the way up, I have a lot of room, but let's give them some space. They need to breathe, let them breathe. So I'll move it right about where I had it for the driver's side, still plenty of room. You have manual shades on both sides for the rear passengers. You have a power rear shade that the driver could hit for the rear glass and then watch this. 
Nice leather. Open this up. Wow. Now that's an armrest. So you're going to have this beautiful leather on the armrest. Nice soft touch material. You do have your heated seat controls. You also have a button. If you want to put that rear shade up, look how dark it gets in here. Super dark. Let the shade down. Boom. Don't you like that? Nice feature. Two cup holders with a nice tasteful lid. And then open that up. Wow. You could literally take five pounds of Skittles, put them in here. It's felt lined, so you're not going to rub off the colors. One USB, and you have a place for some jujubes. So really nice the way they got you covered snack-wise. Put that back. <coughs> Nicely done. Why don't we go ahead, get to the trunk, see what we could haul in the G80. All right, guys, time to get into the trunk area, just like I showed you before. You're going to hit the button right there. Electric assist. Nice to see manufacturers like Genesis still making sedans because guess what? They're still usable. You're going to have 13 cubic feet of space. I like the width. And then look at this. Genesis is so smart. They give you not only one, but two Twinkie cargo storage areas. So over here on my right, we definitely got to thank Dan and Angel, two Radies Rides Patreon members, left us some good old fashioned traditional Twinkies, those golden, delicious brown Twinkies. And then two more Patreons, Ken and good old David, leaving us a box of the newer style chocolate Twinkies. If you're lucky, check your stores because there is a cotton candy Twinkie, which I haven't tried, but who knows? Maybe the Genesis will have it next. 13 cubic feet of space, nice, deep. You can see that pass-through area in that rectangle box. It's not being John Malkovich. You could actually pass things through. You have this cargo liner. And then guess what? Thankfully, we have two boxes of Twinkies because you have a complete set, all 10 examples of the whole Genesis set that you could actually read about your vehicle and eat some of these Twinkies. You're going to need the two boxes. And then of course, we have a nice little cargo net here, which can be removed. And then underneath this, what do we have? Let's find out. Real easy to unsnap these. Look at that. Look how easy that is. Lift it up. You got a spare. Nice full size spare looking good on that setup. And the battery is mounted in the trunk. But drop it back down. Hit the magical button. If you're ready, I'm ready. This thing has twin turbos and it's rear wheel drive. Let's go see how that on throttle action is going to feel. All right, guys. We're in the Genesis G80. Right away, it just you're gonna get this feeling that you're sitting in something very, very special. I mean, the amount of luxury in this vehicle is ridiculous. The finishes are fantastic. And the technology, they speak for themselves. I do have it in sport mode, of course. On Radies Rise, we go sport mode. That's gonna stiffen up the, the steering a little bit. It's gonna adjust uh, the suspension, throttle sensitivity, all that good stuff. You can see that massive 14 and a half inch infotainment system display touch screen or you could use the other controls to navigate through it visibility out the front is fantastic i love driving sedans if i had uh, a large family i would go sedan route and, and skip the whole suv scene but uh nice to see genesis taking the g80 to another level all the touches everything is soft super smooth and the sound ending that's the great part. It's so quiet inside this vehicle. It's really, really fantastic. Now, I have the ventilated seats on. I do have the massage seat feature on, which is really nice. And you just hit that one button up top and it makes that wonderful action take place. There it is on the screen there, the ergo motion setup. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go on throttle. Here we go, on throttle. Very, very nice. The twin turbo setup, definitely you're not waiting for boost to come around. And then this right hand bend back on throttle. Here we go. On those massive calipers up front through this right hand bend, super smooth. I tell you, I'm quite impressed. Quite impressed with the power. Like I said, I think if this thing, especially because if you compare it to the G70, they have the same engine, or at least you could get the same engine, it would be nice to at least have 400 horsepower in the little bit larger sedan. Um, 
but definitely the driving dynamics could use a little bit more feedback into the wheel but other than that i mean i like how smooth and how quick the shifts are that's for sure over the bumps everything is nice and solid in here all right guys we're going to do an acceleration test from a desktop on throttle here we go on the brakes feeling good there we go Actually, I'm telling you, it's very surprising just how fun it is to drive this sedan, especially with the twin turbos on the V6. Very, very fun sedan to drive on how the chassis balance and setup is. All right, guys, here we go through this U-turn area on throttle. Here we go. tell you it the transmission does shift very very well i just a little bit more horsepower i think would just seal the deal i think it would just especially when you're looking at the competition just bring it up to that level but look at the cameras look at that i love that i almost want to just constantly use my turn signals just to have that camera feature uh pop up so i could see who's in that blind spot i mean look how nice that is tells you what the speed limit is really really a bang up job by genesis and anybody who's not taking this brand seriously is out of their mind but we're gonna get back to our special parking lot and wrap this one up so i'll see you in a split second all right guys been another great day in this parking lot with this genesis g80 i gotta thank everybody over at genesis usa for allowing radies rides access to this redesign luxury sedan you know what if you don't need a nameplate this genesis g80 is really bringing a lot of luxury sedan for your money and i really think that genesis is moving in a direction where people are going to stop playing that game where they're like genesis what is that or oh that's associated with hyundai these vehicles are bringing style technology and definitely that outside touch that makes you want to get behind the wheel and drive one. But if you want to keep seeing these types of sedans on Radius Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the first link, become a Radius Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's out here rocking it like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.